folks, JD here, and straight off the bat, if you can hear all that in the background, many apologies, there's nothing I can do about that. There's a festival going off right behind me and it hasn't finished yet. Uh, I thought by this time it would have, but unfortunately it hasn't, so let's just crack on and let's try and ignore that behind us. Right, today I thought it would be quite fun if we took the tallow up, but this time with a bit of a difference. So if we take up this guy, as we know, if we are flying it directly off our smartphone, it is we, the amount of distance that we get isn't that far. So when I was testing it here a couple of weeks ago, it maybe got 10 foot away from me before I turned around and said, oh, I've got a low signal warning. So what I thought I'd do today is I'd use my Mi repeater, I'd connect to this guy, we'd take him up, first of all, without the repeater, see how far he goes, and secondly, with the repeater, and then try and figure out whether or not it is worth using a repeater with this guy. Now. With this Tello, at this point, he's been around for a few weeks. People either love him or they hate him. Um, and there are quite a lot of accessories that you can buy for this, third-party ones. Uh, so obviously, adding a repeater to the price of that is going to make this price even bigger. Um, so it may not be for all of you, but I thought it might be a worthwhile test to come out here and just give it a shot, just to see, as it is a Wi-Fi purely driven quad. So with that, folks, we're not going to configure it because it's already pre-configured. We're just going to take it straight up in the air. Please join me. Right, we are up. We are active. Tello is looking pretty good. We've got a four mile an hour wind today, hitting us directly from my left, swiping us right the way across. As you can probably see, the Tello is holding down one side more than the other, and it is weaving a little bit as it just holds its balance, but it is doing it really well. Okay, that's not why we're here today. Today we are here to see exactly how far this goes on Wi-Fi. So, if I just drive it and if I stay still, let's have a little look and see how far we go before we get any sort of warnings. Right, we got low, low signal down to amber. There we are, Wi-Fi signal low. So we're just on the outskirts of that pond right there. Right, that's... Okay, so there we are. At least we're there anyway. All right, bring it back. Now, what I'm going to do at this point now is we're going to land her and then we're going to take her up with... Actually, what I'll do beforehand, just to ensure that there's no other factors at play, I'm going to take her out again, go back to where I was standing, which was right here, and then let's take her out again and let's see whether... Actually, I may need to increase the speed to fast just so we can get through... This little breeze, there we go. Right, nine foot. Okay, where are we now? Oh, actually, we are over that pond now, and I stood at the same place, and we're over that pond. Okay, let me turn her. I've still got full control of her. Okay, mobile signal, low, there we go. So, yeah, I, again, I'm on the outskirts of the pond, but I'm a little bit further. So I think if we can get to in line where we are there, uh, then, which is right by the pond, as you can see there, then I'd be pretty happy. Okay, let's bring the Tello back. Hello, little Tello, you speedy little thing. Lovely air brakes. Okay, let's bring it back. Let's attach the Mi repeater to, and then let's take it back up with the Mi 2 repeater attached. That is off. Let's get out my repeater. And let's get out my... Actually, let me see if I've got any battery in this. I brought two with me. Yeah, there we are. So my 20,000 milliamp hour anchor battery here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put all of this where I was standing here. So that is where I was standing. So let's have that there. Let's have the mirror repeater facing upwards. So with this now, with all this on, let us... Actually, my... There we are. Screen is still recording. Let's turn that off. Right then, Tello Plus. This is the Wi-Fi repeater. So then the Wi-Fi repeater should connect. And that means then we will be driven directly via that repeater. Now, I'm hoping it's still going to be as nice and quick as what it was. Standard Wi-Fi. There shouldn't be any difference at all. It's a range booster and extender. Therefore, you should expect it to, to work exactly the same. But still, there may be... And a chance that it won't be. This is why we test these things. Okay, let's take off. Right, so let's try a few basic movements for the second just so that we can see whether we have got full control. So let's try forward, back, let's try a little bit. Uh, yeah, okay, so we got positive pitch, 
Negative pitch. Yeah, we seem to be okay. Okay, right, so before standing where I was there, we got, actually, let me put this on fast mode again. Let me check my screen's recording. Yeah, it is lovely. Right, sorry about that, folks. Okay, let's take her out. Ooh, a little bit fidgety. Why is that then? Let's put it on fast. That's better. Wow, that was a little bit strange. Okay, so let's get to the edge of this edge of this pond, which is exactly where we are now. We've made it that far. Let's keep it going a little bit. Certainly, ex <laughs> certainly expanded the the distance of it. I would say quite a bit. Now, if I can raise it, you'll see exactly where this is. It's right there. So, I would say, and if, if <laughs> I would say that as increase the range of it quite a lot, quite sufficiently. It actually turns this into a bit of a different beast. Now I'm flying at 17.7 foot, 18 foot high. So let's take her up a little bit higher. 22 foot, 23.3 foot. That is the that is the highest I've had this thing. Um, and obviously on a day to day, we've got four mile an hour wind. So the higher you take it, you may come across a little bit of buffeting wind as well. And yeah, that, works pretty well and it's responsive that's the difference it's not just a case of you taking it up there and you may get a connection it is responsive that is good yeah <laughs> excellent right, i'm not going to take it too far to my left because the sun's coming up there and uh, all you're going to see is a great big black mess on my camera but there we go i think the pond is there to my right Let's take her out a little bit more. If I circle around, I'm there. Hello! <laughs> and then if I keep on going, the pond is there. Let's drive this via FPV for a bit. 10.1 feet a second, height of 15.4 foot. Still going. And I've still got directional movement. There, directly in front of you, that's where I drive the cars. And there I am, even further away. Hello, Mr. Tello. Right, okay, bring it back, fella. Let's go flat out. How fast are you going to go? 20.8 feet a second at 15 foot. 24, 25, 26, 20, 26 point one feet a second. Nice. Well done, Mr. Tello. Right, okay, come back to me then. Let's bring you down. I think we have successfully <laughs> seen that a Wi-Fi repeater on this guy does turn it into a different animal totally. So now we're still at 15.1 feet. There we are, brilliant. Little repeater, little tello. Let's bring him down for a little palm landing. Okay, so now with that there, let's land him on the hand. Well done, Mr. Tello. There we go. So all in all, folks, that was actually really good. So all in all, this is what we've got. So we've got the Tello without the um, without the Wi-Fi repeater. Got us just to just to uh, the edge of that pond there before we had a Wi-Fi error where it said the signal was low. Not that I didn't have any, but it was low. Uh, and obviously from that point there, if you take it out any further, then you are going to have issues. From where I am to where the end of that pond is there, I'll measure and I'll put up in this video exactly how far that is. But then we managed with the Wi-Fi repeater to take her right out, in almost into that little glade, into that little clearing over there. So... That in itself is a massive, massive difference. We can see down on the track where I usually drive the cars, everything about this is a lot better with that little guy. But as I said at the beginning of the video, it comes to the stage where 
you buy a little drone like this you want it to work exactly like that out of the packet you don't want to buy any any accessories but if you do have a repeater then give it a shot have a little go of it and see what it's like this is the me repeater 2 um, that I use and I found it to be really good out of the five other ones that I tested this was by far the best so there we are folks I hope you've enjoyed thank you ever so much for watching and listening I've been JD you've been fantastic as always if you haven't already please like and subscribe hello and welcome to all the new subscribers I hope you're enjoying the channel so until next time my friends Happy flying.